Hey y'all. So as you can see, I'm out here in nature. I was getting ready to work, but something has been pulling me to the park for the last week. I used to be out here walking all the time. I've had so many things go on in my life that have not prevented me, but kind of hindered me from doing what I used to do out here walking all the time. That's how I got started in my over losing over a hundred pounds. It's not easy. I didn't do any type of surgery, any type of medical procedures. It's not a diss to anybody who has. I just worked my butt off after having four kids and being up to 311 pounds. I'm in my 100s again, and it feels great. And something just told me to come out here and start walking. And it just feels so good, y'all. It really does. People don't give walking enough credit. And what was on my mind today on this Father's Day is what they celebrated, Father's Day. I was thinking about my oldest son and how I had a conversation with his grandmother years ago, right before he was born. Excuse me, right after he was born. And she told me one thing that stuck in my mind that I'll never forget. And she told me that she told her oldest son, well, my, my son's father that he was having difficulties with one of his children, his children's mother. And so he told her, she told him that just leave her alone. Don't worry about it. Wait until she grows up and she becomes of age and then you can deal with the child so you don't have to deal with the mother. And I honestly think that was some of the worst advice that she could have given because you have to think about that child and all the things that they go through in life and how that parent will be an absent parent that will never get a chance to experience those things with that child. And the child needs it. They need support. They need to feel like they're loved and they're wanted. And by you just neglecting them until they turn of age 18 to be involved in their life, it feels to them like you don't really care. You didn't fight for them. It doesn't matter what goes on between you and that other parent. You two created that child and you are obligated to take care of that child. So when the child grows up to become of age, they don't want to have anything to do with you. They don't respect you. They don't listen to things that you say because you weren't there. So how is that benefiting them to wait until the parent, excuse me, the child is of age to be involved in their life? They don't want to have anything to do with you. So basically it's like a setup. They set their son up for failure in raising their child instead of encouraging them to keep going, to keep fighting. You don't know what happened between your son and the mother of his child, but the child has to suffer. So I'm just saying this to say, be careful of the advice that you choose to listen to. Doesn't matter where it comes from. You have to look at that person's life and see what happened in their life and what's going on in their life before you feel like you're able to take their advice because they could be giving you bad advice, setting you up for failure in the long run. You don't know what happened between your son and the mother of his child. They can tell you all kinds of things. Oh, she did this, she did that but you don't know what he was really doing. That's all I'm saying. And I understand sticking up for your child. I do. But a lot of y'all condone their bad behavior and make them feel like what they're doing is right. When you know, you know it's not. And yes, we, have our all, we all have our own lives to lead. But if you know that they're intentionally doing something wrong, 
and you are condoning that behavior, you're setting them up for failure, making them feel like what they're doing is right and they're gonna continue to do it. And one more thing I wanna add to that. Whatever it is that you really want, fight for it. Go after it, don't give up. If you know that's what you want, fight for it. Doesn't matter what other people say. People are gonna talk whether they like what you're doing or whether they don't like what you're doing. But if you know in your heart of hearts that you want something, go after it, fight for it. Don't give up, don't punk out. We need to raise some strong, strong young men and women. Not ones that we're teaching to just, oh, cop out if things get too hard. No, you keep pushing through. The pressure is what makes the diamond, you know? If it comes easy, you can lose it just as fast, <laughs> you know? Don't give up. Starting with the man in the mirror I'm asking him to change his ways And no message could have been any clearer If you want to make the world a better place Take a look at yourself and then make a change